Hey guys, so this is the Gas the Gengar. No, you are not seeing things. This is the Binding of Isaac Antibirth, and as you will see, I have recovered my save file. Now you're probably wondering how I did this. I luckily remembered that Steam has a cloud feature, and I have it so all my games automatically get backed up to Steam. So all I had to do was restore from that. And you're probably wondering, wait, but I thought Rebirth and Antibirth had different save files, so why does that work? Well, I have it set up so Antibirth, I, I added Antibirth to the my Steam library, like manually. If you go to the bottom of the Steam thing, it says add a game, and you can't add Antibirth or any other executable files you have on there. Like, when I play MMOs or stuff, I like to add that to my Steam library, like Digimon Masters Online and stuff. But... As you can see, if we go into here, um, uh, stats. I don't know why there's not challenges. When you look at the items, we do have um, all this stuff. We got the soy milk, we got the almond milk. So this is definitely the save file we had. Um, you know, along with the dark matter, bogo bombs, all this stuff. Uh, I don't see any of the anti-birth stuff here, but I'm not sure if that's listed anyway. But either way, screw it, we're just gonna accept that the game has blessed us by luckily not completely fucking us over. So, my whole thing for this episode that I planned on doing was, instead of completely focusing on mom, I want to try to unlock Azazel. And you're probably like, wait, why Why you want to do that? Well, usually I do my best with Azazel and hopefully... You know, if this run doesn't do well itself, we can at least accomplish one task instead of just completely focusing on mom. Uh, so I set up my mic, I have everything ready. So let's hop right into an Isaac run. God, I'm like, I, you don't know how happy I am that my save file is still here. Like, I'm pretty sure our kill, our lose streak was higher. But, and just as long as I'm able to access the game file at all, I'm happy. I don't care if it's like an earlier version because every loss we've had so far was, you know, bef af after killing regular mom. So, I mean, hey, if it wants to... Ah, oh, Monstro's Lung. Is it worth it? Is Monstro's Lung worth it? Yes, kind of. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, Monstro's Lung can usually be a curse, but if used right, it can't be too bad. I mean, it could be bad, but I mean, like, it, it, could, it could work. Got my controller plugged in. I was honestly thinking that maybe I would just, like, if I couldn't get my save file back, I was just thinking about maybe just doing a few, like, speed drawing videos. Where I just fuck around in my drawing programs that I have, like SAI, or um, I have one called like Coral or something Paint Tools that came with my art tablet that emulates uh, like actual brushes and stuff pretty spot on. So I was thinking about maybe using that and just doing like rough sketches or just drawings and stuff. Like, uh, I don't know, because uh, I'm, r I'm really tired. And when I'm really tired, and when I'm really tired is when I do my best work at drawing, which is stupid and I hate it, but it's something that I can't help. Like uh, yesterday, I actually drew my cat somehow, and I drew a hill with some clouds. Well, I didn't. I, I, I got. I drew it, but I mean, like it was more of uh, instead of. I, I don't know, really know. I, I guess it would be considered drawing, but I didn't really just like draw outlines and color them in. I like made blobs and I detailed them more and more. It, it was more like a painting, you know? But I didn't use a paint. I mostly used the marker tool on the program. And don't think you have escaped us, totally legitimate rock. Ooh. So right now, a devil room floor one doesn't seem to uh crazy and we're looking at another totally legit rock so i'm getting pretty i don't want to say confident 
but I'm pretty okay with this run. And we don't have a key, um, and we haven't found one yet, which kind of sucks because that means we're probably not going to be set for a room next war. Also, here's another totally legitimate rock. Holy shit. So right off the bat, we have <laughs> we have five soul hearts. So if we don't make it through this boss room without taking any damage, like any red heart damage, I'm going to be completely disappointed in myself. Um, again, oh shit. I fucking hate the spooters. Um, so right now I'm just looking to see if I can maybe get a, a key or more bombs. Uh, there is a pot that's a different color in here. I don't know if bombing different colored pots are a thing, but it doesn't hurt to not, it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, so we got two pennies out of it, and it's all right because we still have two bombs left. So let's see. We still don't have a key, which is really disappointing. Uh, maybe we can get like the pageant boy or something at the boss, and he can drop a. Uh, bunch of stuff I don't know so I literally just got a notification not too long ago on my phone which reminds me since it's always a bad thing that happens I should mute all my notifications um, because I have been doing that and uh, shout out to I'm loading the I'm loading YouTube real quick um, IS hub and he was genuinely concerned for my saves. I didn't even know he was a viewer until I, 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 I don't usually get comments on videos, but when I got, saw a comment from someone I've never seen comment before, like legitimately concerned about the save files, I was like, yo, this is nice. At least I'm not the only one flipping out about it. So hopefully this is a nice little surprise for him that uh, everything's up and running. Uh, sorry for the sniffles. Uh, I am sick, as I said earlier in the... I guess, I guess it will be the update video thing that you saw last week. Which, yeah, I record these a week in advance if you didn't know. But hopefully we don't have a mishap like that again. Also, a Gemini, a Gemini boss one is probably the best thing. And we get more soul hearts. Get up that wooden spoon. Um... So far, this run's going pretty well. Not gonna lie, uh, we have still we have four and a half uh, soul hearts. So I'm confident leaving first floor with that many soul hearts. All right, so let's avoid taking any damage. So that way we can try to get a double room. I'm pretty sure. Um, if somehow we. I'm pretty sure that we won't lose any chance of getting the double room unless we somehow take almost five hearts of soul heart damage or maybe even more because I just noticed that there is a totally legit rock in the bottom right corner of the room and I'm also kind of hoping to get off fucking key because uh yeah I, I don't want to miss an item room missing an item room is one of the worst feelings I ever get when playing this game and okay that was nice of the game I'm surprised because I really don't get any of that kind of stuff unless I get like luck up and we have no luck percentage whatsoever so let's do that still no key um shit uh, I kind of want to get that nickel or yeah I would say it's an either a nickel or a dime I'm not sure I usually only see pennies in this so when it comes to a different colored coin I'm not too sure even though I'm pretty sure in our runs previously that I have uh, accurately called out like nickels and dimes, but uh, whatever. Okay, so, alright, so Monstrous Long is definitely a good item. Um, my only complaint is when using a controller for this game, uh, like right now I'm using a PS4 controller. Unless you slide your fingers overneath the face buttons on the right side of the controller, your head doesn't really turn, and also it kind of hurts. I can use the right control stick, which is a lot easier, which I'm, I'm going to actually try that now before I start complaining. Uh, I don't feel comfortable using it though with rooms like this, but I'm going to try. 
maybe if we get lucky, we can find a petrified poo. Um, I actually gonna switch the face buttons for this. Um, also, um, a while ago I did. Listen, I love all these hearts it's giving me, but I need a key. Um, but a while ago, uh, when I was actually planning on streaming, I found out how to record uh, games on my PSP. And though it would be a little bit weird to control, I was wondering if there's any PSP games out there that people would be interested in watching. Uh, I know one of my, f I know a few of my favorites of uh, the PSP games were like Ape Escape on the Loose, which was a re-release of the first Ape Escape game. Um, or there's also Medieval Resurrection or Medi Medieval. Uh, it's basically a game about a knight called Sir Daniel who uh, was a pr was pretty klutz in a war and ended up getting shot through the eye and dying immediately in battle. But everyone in the town thought he was some sort of huge hero and ended up putting him in this shrine or something that was only meant for heroes that actually died a valiant and de whatever death. And he comes back to life um, when his arch nemesis, this wizard that started the original war, comes back to life and starts reviving the town's, or not reviving, but turning the town's, folk, the town's folk into zombies. So... He, fu he thinks of it as a chance to redeem himself, so he rises from the grave and tries getting rid of all these evil monsters and stuff that the wizard has called to the land. And it's definitely good. Ooh, is this pay to win? Pay to play. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like mass damage. No, well, not mass damage, but a good chunk of damage every time you uh, use a quarter, or not a quarter, a uh, penny. So I'm probably going to save up my cash for this, depending on what the boss is. If it's too difficult, like, maybe. But unless it's, like, the haunt or that weird laser spider somehow. I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble. Also, I kind of want to get another bomb because I saw another totally legit rock that I want to get. Um, like, right, it's right here, right next to that. It's right, right next to that penny right to the bottom. So hopefully I can find a bomb. Um, I also was thinking about maybe trying to record some more games on the PlayStation 4. But if you've seen my Outlast 2 demo videos, uh, video, um, I have to record with strictly PlayStation 4 stuff. Which means that I would... Oh, I mean, I'm not complaining. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Um, but... Yeah, I'd have to record with my headset and just the basic, like, quality that, uh, the PS4 control uh, records at, which I, I, I guess it's okay, and that's also a bit annoying, because the quality of the audio is really low, and I can't edit the microphone and game quality separately. Oh. Um, how is he breathing? I have his lung. Oh boy, what the... Yeah, I'm using the right stick, and it's like, making the game act weird. Uh, I think I might stick to the face buttons for now. Um, the control stick definitely is... The control stick for movement is definitely good. Uh, let's see, let's... Okay, so I don't know... I'm using the item that we have. Um, to see what exactly it does, and it's not pay to play. I'm not sure if it's what I'm thinking it is, or if like maybe there's a separate item called pay to win that I'm thinking of. I don't know, but um, I think this is I don't, I don't know plus one to the lowest stat, so charge speed. Uh, oh my god, I love this item. Now, I'm pretty sure this item makes it so, like, enemies get... Yeah. So, if we... Ooh. I like that look. So, it drops those things, and what those things are is basically gravitational, like, portals or whatever. And when enemies will get drawn in and take continuous damage from it, and I love it. Um, but if you've seen previous runs, then you knew this already. Um, great example right there. It's definitely one of my favorite items from this uh, DLC. A add-on 
Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Prime example right there on why I love this. Now, the only problem is we only have uh, temporary hearts, which I'm not responsible enough to only live off temporary hearts. I know a lot of people are. I know if you're good at the game, you are. But there's a thing I'm not good at. The Oh boy. <laughs> um, so our rate of fire has gone down. I think. I don't know. Our charge rate seems to definitely have taken a hit from that. Also, we get another free key, so I'm really enjoying this. It seems like we have luck up on something? I, I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, charge up, then go here. We definitely could do a lot of damage, though. I just noticed that our damage went from uh, <laughs> 3.5 to 15. So we're definitely not lacking in damage like we have on, done on previous runs. And I'm really pumped for this. Like, you have no idea how pumped I am for this run. Mostly because I don't have to redo old stuff. Um, oh, more bombs. This is great. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this run. It's probably the best run we've had in a while. And if you know me, we're going to screw it up. Kind of like when I choice cho choice chose soy milk that one time. The rate of fire is really screwing me up here. Like, we need more of that, definitely. Another key. Alright, um... So, if anything I can hope for this run, it's more rate of fire. Definitely. Um, definitely not going to pick up soy milk, because that would just ruin all of this. Unless it would like... Oh, shit. Fuck. Um, so, we already lost one black heart. Um, let's open this room, and we can't, we can't use it. We can't get any of this. The pill... Kind of tempted, but at the same time, if it's health down, I'm going to be screwed. And one thing I am looking forward to right now is there is a character, I believe, where you need to get all um, fake hearts. Uh, oh, one. All, yeah, fake hearts to get access to. And I think it's 11, actually. So we have uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we need four more soul hearts in order to unlock that, if I'm remembering correctly. 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 Um, there's something up here that we haven't explored yet. And I'm not sure if I wanted to explore this because I'm really bad at spikes. So let's. Here. I'm kind of hoping for like a basement's XL kind of thing where we can get two item rooms and everything, but at the same time. I'm not sure how well that would work out for us because that also means two times the boss. And I don't know how we're going to do. Yeah, the rate of fire is definitely screwing up on this. The pack damage and tears up. Um, is that more rate of fire? No, that's less rate of fire. Oh my god. So we definitely do a lot of damage. No. Um. Sorry, I don't know what. <gasps> no, I just saw the devil room. So sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. Also, I need to adjust my mic real quick. I don't know how well, how good this sounds. I'm trying to move around so I could be more comfortable, but it's not easy with my setup. Um, so 
We screwed up in that room, not gonna lie, that's all my B. Um, sorry, again, I'm sniffling. Uh, let's see. There we go. Or not. There we go. Oh god, that, that sucked. So that's a nickel? Uh, yeah, I think that was a nickel. Gonna go to the store. That's not a store. Okay. Oh, that's an instant bomb kill. Oh. So I believe it's the Bible, which is flying in rooms except for mom, which is insta kill. Which oh my god, we could insta kill mom's heart. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, I know. Oh, that's even better. Ooh, yeah, we're keeping this. No doubt about that. Uh, let's drop this here. Maybe we can get like, uh, I don't know, the emperor. I don't remember what the emperor does. So, a while ago, I actually saw someone play the original Binding of Isaac. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's 11 soul hearts, but it did give us a notification not a lot from the new character. So, I, I think I might have been goofed on that. Uh, I don't know. Damn it. Sorry again. Oh, sorry again with the sniffles. It's I know it's fucking disgusting. Um, I noticed that we have lost a. Well, we didn't lose it. Friends till the end. If what is this? Oh. I mean that's pretty good too. But I need the hearts, like, until we get HP up, I need the hearts, like, you don't understand, I need these hearts. And, there's another one. I heard a thing, like, uh, the sound of just dropping something. There's a champion. Sorry, I fucking got. I need to stop apologizing for the sniffles and just stop sniffling. I want to use the Emperor, but I'm not sure. If I'm using it. Okay, just tell what just watch me. So, what I'm really digging is the, that <laughs> we're basically one shotting bosses. Which is, it's, it's always a good time when you're doing that. But what I hate is you only have one actual heart. And I guess it's not too bad because I'm pretty sure if we played with Azazel, we would have only had uh, just two black hearts until we got HP up. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. So, let's do this. I hate floors like this so much. Well, not floors, but rooms. Because my hand eye coordination in this game. Sucks, especially when Isaac just slips around everywhere. Shit, shit. You know, or we could do good like that. Um, let's go into this. Temporary damage up. Book of Belonging. I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm sorry, but this book is just too good to give up. Um, though the damage up would help a lot, but I think for now we're already good on damage. Though I kind of wish we did get the Bible, but I mean, I don't want to cheap out this run too much, even though this is what the game's given us, so it's not really cheating out, it's just doing whatever. And does anyone else like ever think about, like, the game has given me these tools used for a reason, so well, I, sh I shouldn't be too upset, but at the same time... Uh, it's like, 
oh no, this these item combinations just don't seem right to me. It's like if you get the Tanuki, like, or the Bitten Leaf or whatever on this, and then get a bunch of, like, little fly friends. Um, also, how do I... The f I'm trying to think if there's a way I could shrink the f up the options but so I'm using a ps4 controller which I've already said so I have completely like gotten used to there being no select button so I always clicked the touchpad and this actually makes use of the share button which is I guess a replacement for the select button so I'm kind of okay with that Damn it! Of course, of course I had to do that. Oh, I don't know how we picked it up. I'm not complaining. I was complaining when you dropped over there, but I'm not complaining now. Um, so I don't feel like we're gonna have a problem taking down mom, uh, especially with this book. Um, I should also keep my eye out for hidden rooms since we are getting a sort of Access of bombs. Point proven. Point proven. I can't say. I can't talk. see. I can't talk. Like I don't know. I think it's just my head being all clogged up from being sick. Though it's weird because I think this is the most on, on track my mind has ever been while recording Isaac. Like usually I'm talking about stories and stuff, and just going from one subject to another like instantly, just quick firing a bunch of everything. Just non-stop gobbledygook garbage, you know? Oh, sorry. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. I I'm so sorry. Oh, no! No, no, no. No. Oh, uh, but take damage. Kind of upset about that. Um, but we can use this and go pick up a battery. We also have an 85% chance of getting a Devil Floor on this run, but since we picked up the Void, I don't think we're going to be able to actually get a Zazel. <laughs> um, I would understand if we got the Black Lotus again or something like that, but like right now it's just seeming like we are not going to be able to pick up any more heart, uh, health pickups. And one of the things I find weirdest about the Binding of Isaac is that it's not weird, but it just throws me off, is that everything is completely predetermined on, like, as soon as you press start, you know? I'm not... I, I don't know... Shit, shit. I didn't mean to move down. I was trying to pick up the soul heart. But, um... It's like... When you're using a seed or something, it's like everything is exactly the same. Um, what you, items you would get on the devil floor, like stuff like that, even like the percentage chances and shit. Like, depending on how well you do. Can I use this to my hit? Yes, I can. Pop up. Bad trip. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna buy the hive mind. Giant spiders and flies. Um, don't. I honestly don't know what that item does. I'm, I'm gonna be the first to admit it. I'm also gonna be the first to admit my window is open right now and it just snowed heavily. So my neighbor is shoveling the shit out of their yard. Um, I didn't close my window all the way because uh, I've been getting really fucking hot all of a sudden. Uh, again, probably because of a fever or something. Um, yeah, oh my, I, this, this room is just too perfectly set up for there not to be a hidden room there. Come on. Fuck, I'm an idiot. So, comment down below how excited you are for uh, Isaac to not be gone. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't... I, I, if this didn't work, like, if the cloud save didn't work like I thought it was going to, I probably wouldn't have picked the game up for a good bit. Alright, two shot. Guppy's tail... Which I'm pretty sure is flying. Or ghost baby. Her pet. Get this tail. 
Oh no, Guppy still isn't flying, is it? No, it's not. Well, we have two Guppy items now. Which might not get us a Zazel. But it might just get us Guppy. And if you don't know what Guppy is, it's a transformation of once you pick up a certain amount of cat items. Uh, you turn into Guppy and it's like every floor... Or not every floor, but every... Can I... Oh, can we pick up another bandage? I don't know why I did that. Why the fuck did I do that? Nope. I mean... Hey, I was right! Oh, okay, it was 12 hearts, not 11. So, we unlocked Bethany, whoever the fuck that- whoever the fuck Bethany's in, is- we unlocked her. Oh god, I'm so sorry, I, I did it again. Um, I need- is it, maybe I should just use some Vicks, I don't know. Do you guys use Vicks when you have, uh, stuffy nose? I've actually met people who don't even know what Vicks is, and I'm just like, what? How? Rotating. How does one even? Like, are you just stuck in this room? Like, luckily I have the void. Alright. Zip zoom even work. Zip zoom, my bad. I'm watching too many Vinny streams. Um, if you don't know who Vinny is, that's uh, Vine Sauce Vinny. Uh, he's a streamer and I guess maybe a YouTuber. I don't like I don't like Zipsum. Or is it zip drop? Zip 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 pop pop pop. So R2 maybe drops it? Yeah, alright, cool. Pick up another thing. And he has a fascination, I will say, with a character named Scoot from Animal Crossing New Leaf, or just Animal Crossing in general. I believe he's like from the original Animal Crossing game too. And it's kinda weird, not gonna lie. How, how fascinated he is with this character. At the same time, I can't judge because I've had my like fair, like crazies over a certain character in video games. Like, um, for Animal Crossing, there's one. Uh, I think her name is Daisy. It's a white dog, uh, and she was my first like neighbor that I had as a best friend. I guess, like I. I, I literally imagined like hanging out with her and shit when I played the game and it was amazing like and the, I think when I played my sack I don't have any regular hearts yet, so no I think on my actual like playthrough of uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf like the first time I went through it uh, she actually moved into my town, and it was amazing. Come on. There we go. Steam sale, alright. We have a flat penny, so... I see. Keys are not... Keys are no option. Uh, that's a challenge room. I don't care how many, how much damage or whatever I do, I am not comfortable in those rooms. Uh, I am comfortable here. Uh, let's bomb for the key. Bomb that. Is that Cricket's head? Oh my god. Oh my god. At some point it looks like we lost damage. Much. I don't know if we lost it. I actually think we put common cold. Is that a, is that a way compound? Chewing pen is sleeping. No thanks. But bombs I will take. Um, so, so far, we have technically uh, three followers and then one cat head. Which is great. Actually, we have max hearts with uh, soul hearts, and we also have nine lives, which I don't know how much that's going to help us because, you know, if we only have one heart, 
basically one shot of winning a fight. I don't know how well that's going to go. I also kind of was hoping for a small rock. A pebble, if you will. Oh, I completely forgot we have not gotten an item room yet. Alright, let's open that. Open this. More of the pennies. Alright. And onk. Oh god, I... Alright, so for those of you who don't know, the onk is a revival item, which I think would give us 10 lives. But at the same time, when it brings you back, you come back as blue baby. And, I mean, we only have soul heart. <sighs> Alright, so I think that means on our 10th life, we're going to come back as a blue baby. Or next time we die, we're going to come back as a blue baby. Wait, I already have steam sale. Does that mean everything in the store is going to be free for now? Like, is that how that works? But, either way, um, Blue Baby is a character that I think only starts off with three uh, soul hearts, and any HP up would just give you another soul heart. So, it's not the best character to play as. I think it's like a challenge mode kind of thing, and you don't get to fight Blue Baby, I think, until very, very late game. R1? No, I'm probably should have saved that. Sorry, again. Did I like, I even just said, like, I'm gonna try moving my face. Okay. Maybe with this kind of damage, we can defeat Mom this time. Uh, like, not to mention, this is... Oh, 500 HP up. I like HP up. HP up is good. HP up is my friend. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna sniffle. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Alright, so we have one actual heart, 11 soul hearts, 10 lives, a book that gives us soul hearts for every 6 rooms, I want to say, a total of 27 damage. In fact, hold on, let's let's get an item list up right now. We're at F7, and these are, this can't be all the items we got, no, there's more, there's more, look at that. We have 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 items. I'm feeling really good. This is probably the most confident I have felt in a run. And I can easily blow it because I'm in me. And me and dad. Don't know why I worded it like that. But I did. Oh well. But yeah, I am bad at this game, so. Oh, has... I don't know why I'm asking this. Like, people can talk to me. Um, so... Recently, my uh, I was like, I think I told the story a while ago how I told my brother he could play my PlayStation 3. And if you don't know, my brother is not a good person. Uh, he's like, let's see, he's six years younger than me. So that means I'm 20. She's six, no, 14? Yeah, he's 14. Holy shit. And. He is kind of a horrible person, and I told him, like, yo, if you go to school and you stop being a little bitch, I'll let you play my PlayStation 3, but on one condition, you have to start, you know, doing your shit. You can't just constantly keep fucking around. You gotta go to school. You've already missed, like, 70 days so far, and he was like, sure, whatever, and I told him that he had to play Persona 3 for at least uh, an hour, and he did. But he said he liked it. Uh, I don't know if he tried out Nino Kuni like I asked him to. But he eventually went out and he bought Kingdom Hearts 2.5. And it brought this thing up like, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts in a long time. And I really want to play it again. Like, I want to play Birth by Sleep. Like, I want to play Dream Drop Distance through again. But at the same time, it's like... I don't, I don't know, maybe... Also, free heart, sweet. Now, let's use this now, so by the time we get to the boss, we might have another charge on it. Or maybe we can get lucky and pick up a battery, and since there's no items on this, or item rooms... Oh my god, this damage! This damage! I don't know what's going on, I don't know which one of you used, put like a good hex on me or something, but whoever did it, GG. 
I, I'm happy that you exist. Um, shit. You're taking a lot of stupid damage. Don't. Uh, fucking. Why? 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 Uh, I feel. I have plenty of bombs I can use. Okay, cool. I thought that there was a totally legit rock. I don't know how to see the totally legit rocks on these floors. So when I see a rock with an X on it, I don't care if it's like actually an X or whatever, but I just automatically assume it's a totally legit rock. Also, I'm going to take those items off the side because they're distracting me. Um, maybe we can get some health up. Health up or maybe something. I don't know. Alright, tarot card. Uh, the sun, I'm pretty sure, is like healing plus some money or something. And health up. Alright. So we're gonna have three we're gonna have three hearts at the start of the next floor. And I don't know if I should use health up. Uh I just don't know if it's gonna be helpful. Also a key. We're using a key, so I think see. Why did I fucking do that? I meant to place a bomb. I wanted to... the fuck? Mysterious medicine? I don't know if I want that. What uncovered the floor? Was it the mysterious medicine that did that? I don't know. Whatever it was. Now we know where the boss is. Thank you for farting on the thing to death. Um, let's check the rooms right now. So we know where the mystery room is now too, so that's pretty neat. So let's go check that out. Maybe we can get lucky and find another soul heart. Uh, we're one room away from the charge, so... I'm probably gonna go explore one more room before we do that. Um, two bombs, alright. Oh no. Like, I want to bomb these guys at the same time, I don't want to risk the biscuit. So we have plenty of money. I don't know what just did me damage. Do you have to stop? So... Alright, so we lost about half of our health on just this floor. Which, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, we're doing good, but at the same time it's like... I'm starting to get a little too careless from being overpowered, you know? So we're gonna use this charge, get that health back, and hopefully by the time we get to the next- or hopefully by the time we get to the mom the next floor, we haven't really lost- oh, fucking double bosses, I hate these things so much. But luckily, we do a lot of damage. Also, Jesus Juice? Damage and range up. Oh my god. So much range and damage and money equals power. Um, yeah, no, I'm sorry. That, I don't need that. Also, why is there a key? Why is there a key? Or it looks like a keyhole, but it's probably just a cross. Or whatever. Um, can we get a Krampus fight? I don't know if we're that far into the game where we can do that. Yeah, we can. Alright, cool. But the door was whatever whatever i'm not i ain't questioning it i i ain't whatever and this this is it this is the make it or break it part the girdlings all right i can i can deal with the girdling i don't know what the fuck those are but whatever um, I don't think there's any shops on this floor either, or these floors. So when it comes to any help of actually getting any more uh, soul hearts, we're kind of screwed unless we get like... Fuck, what? I don't, I don't know why I'm so... Yeah, uh, maybe if I had a... The, the only thing I can see helping us out is maybe Dark Bum. Bob's head. Uh, no thank you. Alright, or we can get more of these guys. 
No more keys. Yep. And so we have so much money. Let's see if we can get another HP up. Chewed on clutch. Well, I guess it's like poison or something. You no, know let's pick it up. Um, we'll use it to try to find a hidden room. And we'll just switch out for the Bible. See, that's pro strat. Pro strat for a non pro. If you ever want to look good at this game, just pull a simple pro strat that anyone can build. It's, it's easy. Thank you. Just thank you, please. Does anyone ever watch Rolly Poly Rolly? It's just a random question that I had to ask. Because that's what that was from. I don't remember what, what exactly it was from. I just remember people saying, yes, thank you, please. And we unlocked Kane. Okay. So, this is probably a great run, and if I mess this up, I'm never going to forgive myself. Simple as that. Wow, they are stupid. Wow, we are doing a lot of stuff. We're doing things and stuff, and I'm proud of myself for once. <laughs> oh god, no, no, this could be the room, no. Fucking hell. I don't know why I was so unconfident in this room. Like, if we just walked in with a charge shot, this would be nothing. Also, I would like to point out, this is the first time I've really run out of bombs. And I just noticed that this, like, common cold thing is going in actually, like, it's... Holy shit, we did it, guys! Guys! Double room. No. No. Shit. Should I do it? No, I can't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. We're doing so good, I can't ruin this. But then again, if I pass this chance up, it's like, I don't know. Oh my god. You know what, guys? Here. If you're playing the Bising Mind Anti Birth with us, Use this seed, try to see if you can get the same stuff as me, and then in the comments below, tell me how easy it was to go through there so I can hate myself for the rest of my life, because I just want to end the run. That's, that was literally the best one of Isaac we've had this whole time. And now I'm thinking about how much damage we had and how much hearts we had. We could have easily have done that. Eden. Alright, so let's look at the characters. We got Isaac now, Magalyn, Kane, we unlock Lazarus. We now have Bethany, who I don't who's Bethany? And we also have Eden. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was our first successful run of the binding of Isaac in about ten run not ten, but like five runs now. And I'm going to think about how miserable I'm going to be the next time. Because there's no way we're going to get a run that good ever again. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below about how pumped you were for this run. And how pumped you are that we're never going to get a run like that again in the future. And leave a like down below if you loved this episode. Because I know I did. Comment down below yeah, if... I don't know, again, like maybe if you tried out the seed, how well you did, how far you got, if you beat my time, I don't know. And I hope you all have a great day, and until next time,
拜拜。